Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you about the working and construction of IR module. As there are many applications of this IR module, we can use this IR module in LFR means line following robot. We can use this IR module in obstacle reduction robot and there are many other uses in queues. So let's make this circuit. So let's first look over the circuit diagram. As you can see that I have used the IR transmitter and IR receiver. IR receiver is also known as photodiode. Okay, the light means the IR which is emitted from this IR will get absorbed and the voltage value will increase or decrease accordingly. Okay, as you can see that this is our positive part of the circuit and this is a negative according to the supply which we have placed here. So according to that our IR is in forward bias with the resistance and our photodiode it means IR receiver is in reverse bias. Okay, here we have shorted one wire to the non-inverting part of the op-amp that is positive and we have used one pod means potentiometer to variate the amount of resistance here Okay, and that is shorted with the negative means inverting part of our op-amps. These two wires are connected to the positive and negative of the battery. The output of this op-amp is connected to the LED means uh, whenever the voltage will increase here our output will go and it will blow. As I have told you that I have used one operational amplifier here so let me explain you how it works. You can see that this is the same operational amplifier which I have placed here okay. It have two part inverting which I have taken V1 and non-inverting V2. Inverting is negative and non-inverting is positive. Okay, G here represents the gain of operational amplifier means how much gain we are getting at output and these are VCC and ground. You can see the same thing VCC, ground, in inverting and non-inverting. Okay, now how it actually works? Suppose uh, our voltage is connected to our inverting part. Okay, our inverting part is also taken as, uh, as our reference voltage. See our output voltage OP will be equals to G the gain of operational amplifier into V2 minus V1 that is non-inverting minus inverting that is our total output. At the first case suppose our V2 is greater than V1 okay then only we will be getting our positive voltage. It means our the output will get positive. It means output is positive and our LED will glow. Okay. Now the second case suppose is if V2 is less than V1. So we will be getting a negative voltage. If the negative voltage will be coming to the output it means no current will flow from here and our LED will not glow. See I have connected the inverting part to the pot. It's a potentiometer. And by setting some values, I have placed, I have fixed the voltage here. Suppose, for example, I have taken 3 volt at the inverting part, means V1. Okay, I have, I have fixed this value. Now, the our varying voltage will be through our non-inverting part because our non-inverting part is connected to the positive terminal of our photodiode. This is our V2. Okay, and this is our V1 according to this this is our V2 here and our V1 here is non inverting part means this is our V1 okay now let me explain you how this uh, photodiode works see here this is our IR and this is our photodiode when we connect some voltage drop uh, around this it emits some infrared okay infrared light is emitted by this IR if some object come in between this infrared 
it will get reflected and being absorbed by the photodiode. When photodiode absorbs some infrared light, it produces some voltage. Okay, and that voltage is our V2, which we are getting because this is connected here. Okay, when IR is emitting some light, it will get absorbed by a photodiode and that photodiode will convert that light into some voltage drop. Okay, that is our V2. This is our V2. It will produce V2. So, as the obstacle will, will come closer, the more reflection will take place and more absorption will take place from this photodiode. So, the value of V2 will increase. Okay. Now, as our value of V2 will increase, so our V1 minus V2 will get positive and we will be getting our output. Okay, but at the same case, if the object is little bit far away, okay, so the amount of light which is reflected and which is absorbed by this photodiode is very less. So means at that time, it is the case when it is near, object is near and our V2 value will decrease, your object will go far. Okay, V2 value will decrease, it means a negative case will come because the V2 minus V1 value will become negative and our output will not come. It means a LED will not glow. As you all have seen that I have used only one operational amplifier in the circuit diagram. So the IC which I am going to use is LM324. It is containing four operational amplifiers. Okay. In the place of LM324 you can use other ICs like 741, 358 and many other ICs are there. In 741 there is only one operational amplifier which are more preferably used in this uh, modules so I, I have only LM324 so I am using this one this IC this is the LM324 IC which I am using in the circuit okay you can see the pin the left hand side pins 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here first is our output of our first operational amplifier which is there in this LM324 second piece is the in inverting part of this operational amplifier and the third pin is the non inverting part of this operational amplifier a fourth will be our VCC and eleventh will be our ground. As the same way there are three more operational amplifier which you, which you can use. So now let's make the circuit. Now we are going to implement the circuit on our breadboard. Okay. Firstly I will connect the IR emitter and IR receiver. It means our photodiode. Okay. IR emitter is will be connected in forward bias and IR receiver that is a photodiode will be connected in reverse bias. As you can see that in, a, in my breadboard I have made it as a positive difference and it is as a negative difference. So I will be taking the IR emitter and will be connecting the positive leg to the positive and the negative to the negative. Here it is the positive leg of the IR the longer one. I will be connecting it. Okay and the resistance means this 220 volt resistance will be connected to the negative. Now I'll be connecting the photodiode in reverse bias. Ten K resistance to the negative. Now I'll play this spot. Now the one leg of the pod will be connected to the positive and the second leg of the pod will be connected to the negative difference. So there are two legs as you can see. Actually in pod we have three legs. One is common here. I will tell you how to use this. Firstly, we will connect this two. Now I will be connecting the LED to the output of the operational amplifier. It means pin 1 of this operational amplifier. The positive part of this LED will be connected to the pin 1. and this resistance will be connected to the 
नेगेटिव Now we are going to connect one wire from the photodiode to the positive of this operational amplifier. See, this is the same thing which I have pointed. And the third pin is our positive, means one, two, three. Now one wire will be connected from the third leg, means the middle leg of the pot to the non -in, to the inverting part. It means pin second. At last, I am going to connect ground and VCC. Our fourth pin is our VCC. And 11th pin is our ground. To give a constant 5 volt voltage, we are going to use this voltage regulator of 5 volt. Okay, because as our battery is of 9 volt, so we will be using this voltage regulator to reduce the voltage to 5 volt. Now I have connected the 7805 voltage regulator. The third pin is giving me the 5 volt output, and the middle one is the common, means ground. Now I am going to connect my 9 volt supply to the first and the common pin. This is a 9 volt battery. Common wire, black one. As you can see, that I have connected the battery here. Okay. Now our circuit is fully completed and it is fully functional. Let me show you it's working. See, it's our IR emitter and IR receiver. When an obstacle, suppose this is our obstacle, it is coming in between of this emitter. See. See, it's blowing. Because the IR is getting reflected from this object and getting absorbed to this photodiode so our output is getting high we can also set the range of this uh, IR module as I have placed one potentiometer here if we will change the value of this potentiometer okay the range of this will increase or decrease I will show you how suppose our range is this much As I have changed the value of this potentiometer, our range is decreased. See, now our range is low. So this is our IR module.